Now that we know a little bit about custom functions, let's try another example where we just kind of build some sentences using string concatenation and custom functions. So I have this spreadsheet full of people, and if I go into my script editor, here we go, we'll go into the script editor, we'll go ahead and give our project a name, we'll call it uh, people example project. And we're going to just go ahead and wipe out all that code. I'm just going to select everything and hit delete. I'm going to create a new function. And I'm going to call that function what the person did. And I'm going to give it a parameter, person name. And now I have my function. And if I just want to try it out, you know, I can create a variable here. Var sentence is equal to person name plus, we're going to concatenate this with cross the street, just to make it very simple. Now, if we want to just test this, if I, you know, if I just hit play, well, there's, there's, there's a problem here. One is it's not really doing anything except for creating this variable, so that, that's just not going to be very interesting. But also, this parameter is not going to get filled in. So if I were to do something like logger.log sentence, and we save that, when I run this, now if I view my log, we're going to see... Well, we'll see undefined cross the street. So it's kind of what we want. It's sort of sort of right, but it's not quite exactly. But I think it'll do the trick. So what we're going to need to do in order to actually do this or like complete this function is return sentence. Now, if we go back to our original spreadsheet, we can just type in what the person did and pass in A1. There we go. Now, one thing that you'll notice, if you don't include this return, if we just were to leave it how it was before where we do logger, log, sentence we're gonna get this weird result because well, our function hasn't returned anything so if we go back to our spreadsheet it, we're gonna just see a blank space there because it, it's not returning anything at all it's just it's not a value so uh, we want to make sure that we always remember our return because that can keep us from having problems um, you know you might run into other problems just like when we were dealing with strings the first time you might have strings that are not closed you know so this will actually give us an error if we try to run this it's going to tell us we have an unterminated string literal uh, or you know we have the other problem where we could have a double quote opening and a single quote uh, closing which is also going to give us the same error it's going to give us an unterminated string literal now the other thing you want to avoid doing when you're dealing with this string concatenation is you don't want to set sentence equal to you know maybe some other string and then just kind of leave your plus out there because this is going to give you really weird results because now we have this syntax error you know you've got this so you've got to make sure that you know everything on both sides of your plus sign you have a string or you have a variable so here we have person name and we have the string here we have just a string so we could you know we could change this to ABC and now this will work of course the problem now is that our sentence is being overwritten so that's another thing that you can you can have a problem with whenever you create one of these variables we're putting this value into it now and we can see if we use logger.log we can see what this looks like at each step oh let's not log person name let's log sentence there we go and we'll use logger.log sentence here as well now when we run this we will see in our log we get cross the street but then it changes so if we were to just return this and go back to our sheet you will see everything is just going to be a g s a b c and if we go ahead and copy that function down using that plus sign cursor every single one of these is going to be a g s a b c so we want to avoid that so we're going to go ahead and we'll just take out all of these lines now we we'll put this back there we go and now when we come back to our spreadsheet we'll see we get exactly what we want so you can run into a few problems even in a very simple custom function. You know, you have to make sure that your plus sign uh, actually concatenates two different things and you have to make sure that you return your values or else you can run into problems. And you ha also have to make sure that your variables uh, are not being overwritten later in your function. A lot of things to keep in mind. Uh, but hopefully this will give you some illustration, some understanding of the errors that might come up as well as how to create you know, a really basic function uh, that concatenates strings in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching.